Let's eat some katil. Oh my god, I am so excited. You guys already know the hubby made this one. And yes, he has a recipe up. It's pretty old. Um, I'm sh I'm I've been trying to convince him to make an updated one, but um, we haven't had the time to. So yeah, I'll um leave his little his what is it called? His TikTok account down in the comment section. But we got a big old fatty oxtail here, bok choy. We got um beef balls of course thai chili all that good stuff but yeah let's go ahead and take our first bite because i'm really excited of course we gotta try out the broth cheers oh my god wow oh my god hits every time Mmm, so good. Oh my god, that beef balls. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, he put some tendon in here too, which is my favorite. Look at my baby in the back preparing all the food for all his girls mm. Mm. well so good mm. Bite of the octo. Wow, this one is huge, babe. Mm. So tender and fatty. <laughs> Shut up, babe. I'll see you guys in part two. sushi it's been a while since i've done one of these this isn't ow we got yul sauce spicy mayo we got connie salad which i've never had before actually which i'm excited to try i always see people eating it on here i got the pop-up roll i don't know what's in that but i also got shrimp tempura spicy tuna and california roll so i'm just gonna dig right in i actually just paused the video to film some asmr bites connie salad i took a couple bites of it's pretty good mm. i just put the chopstick is this crab or what's in this it tastes like um it just tastes like cabbage it's good mm. I already had two of these pop-up rolls or whatever, but they are so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is the shrimp tempura one. I am really basic with my sushi. Like, I haven't really ventured out into any of, like, the raw sushi. You know what I mean? This roll is so good. Mm-hmm. Anytime I'm eating sushi, I like it grossed out, like, in the middle of it. I, like, freak myself out. So good. Okay, so today I got a Chipotle chicken avocado burrito 
with some creamy cilantro dressing. Mm. Mm hmm. I don't know. This burrito is not tasting how it normally tastes. Something is missing. I can't just put my finger on it just as yet. But. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's whatever. You know what I really should have got me? A fish fillet. My daughter said, get fish fillet. And I said, no, I won't. El Pollo Loco. Move, Dior, you ain't getting none. Sit down, you a beggar. Stop begging. And then I got a uh, stuffed... Uh, this supposed to be a stuffed quesadilla from them. Whatever. Mm -mm. It don't give. Mm -mm. I told them no pico. I know it ain't gonna be good because I don't like pico. You don't taste a lot. But let me try it anyway to see. Mm. I need to do another bite to see if I like it. Because one bite, mm -mm. I said I'm going to drink some water, but Snick's got a Coke and it looks so good. So I'm going to have a little sip of her Coke. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Nothing pisses me off more than when my food is not right. Like, oh my god, I'm gonna drink some water. Mom. I'm, I'm pissed. Like nothing pisses me off more than when my food ain't right. I'm over it. I should have got me a fish fillet. From McDonald's, and I would have been happy. What's up, y'all? So, we went to American Jelly today. And why my plate always feel much lighter than his? Okay, I got wings. Hot. So, we got. Dang, he got wings and a burger. Wait, hold on, because, like, the crazy part is, I said that I wanted a burger. So. He literally won't get mad at me for eating his food, so. Mm. I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> Baby, his food is just always better. What is it? Uh, men just be knowing. Since one American Deli had honey hot, and he didn't even tell me. <laughs> We're just gonna switch plates because at this point, it's everything I was craving today and the fries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't eat the whole thing. I'm gonna leave. Matter of fact, I'm gonna eat my wings. But our burger good, and I just got regular hot. Mm. 
I can't believe how juicy this burger is. Like, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Got in and out. I already ate like half the fries on the way home. I don't know what it is, but they're just so good today. Mm. My order is a double double animal style buns extra toasted with chopped chilies. Literally the best combo ever. Okay, first bite. Mm. That hits the spot times a thousand. Today, I just got caught up with work and literally didn't eat all day. So I am starving. All of this tastes extra good. That is going to be such a good bite. It has like the grilled onions and the sauce and a pickle and some chopped chilies. Cheers. <laughs> These are the chopped chilies. They are a little bit spicy, but they're my favorite. They taste so good. Mm. I feel like I have my go-to places where I love getting food, but I want to hear your guys' suggestions and what you want to see me eat. So let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas. didn't get my fries well done this time and I'm trying to decide what I like better. I feel like when they were well done, they were almost too crispy and like they just went to dust. But at the same time, I kind of liked the crisp. But these are just like more flavorful. I don't know. Also, I know so many people hate on In-N-Out fries, but I love them. I don't know they're just salty and just good. If they're not salty, you better believe I dump those salt packets on them. Gotta make sure I'm not eating the paper though. I accidentally ate all the lettuce in that bite. Last bite. Mm. They changed out their lids. Right, guys so we we're eating dave's hot chicken oh it's so good i ordered two sliders a tender i got them all hot this time because i got mild and medium last time i got this and i couldn't taste the spice at all the hot i can taste the spice and it's like manageable so it's very good my stomach's been hurting like all day and i don't think this is like the right meal for it but we are here so and i also got mac and cheese let's dig in well i've already digged in but let's continue digging in mm -mm -mm. the fries are super crunchy too you guys i door dash this and it was here in like 10 minutes I love New York. <laughs> All my food comes like super fast. I can wake up in the morning and literally walk a block down the street and I have like coffee. It's so nice. I miss my car and like driving around, but also like I love how accessible everything is here. We have the slider. I put mac and cheese on it a little bit. So I'm subletting this place for the month and my roommate who actually lives here, she was gone for two weeks, but now she's back. It was so cute. She brought me back like little shortbread cookies from her trip, which was super sweet. Mm. For the last two weeks, I've been like filming in the living room because like no one's been home, but I texted her tonight and I was just like, hey, is it okay if I film like a video in the living room? <laughs> And like she knows I do social media, but I don't think she knows what type of social media I do. I was like, context, it's gonna be an eating video for TikTok. I don't want her to think I'm filming any type of, you know, other content. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so good. So everybody in the comments loves to come for me saying I eat so much fast food, which I mean, I have been getting a lot of fast food, mm. but about half of what I get actually goes to my dad. 
There's a, we have like a nickname for my dad in this family. He's the human like trash can almost, <laughs> which I know sounds so bad, but we mean it in a loving way because he'll eat all like the leftovers and like things that are expired in the refrigerator and all of us are like, I don't know if you should be eating that, dad. <laughs> but he loves any sort of leftovers. He tries to eat everything in the fridge. He doesn't like to let things go to waste. And so he'll probably eat some of this burrito, honestly, because this is huge. <laughs> but yeah, like, everybody's like, you get so much at Wingstop. I'm really getting two meals because my dad eats lots of it. He loves Wingstop now. <laughs> mm. So he'll probably be excited when I give him some of this. Hey guys, so today we're having some katil, which is Cambodian pho. My mother-in-law actually made this for us. She packed it for us to go and we heated it up and it's fire, okay? So it got um, beef bones, bone marrow, look at that, carrots, and no, my light turned off. As I was saying, it also got <laughs> beef balls, but yeah, let's go ahead and dig in. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Cheers. Mmm. Oh God, it's like so hot. Okay, here we go. First bite. Mmm. Oh God, so bomb. I haven't had her cathedral in a while. Mm, I don't know what it is, but homemade pho is always better than the store-bought one. It's because it's made with love. Mm. Mm. I swear, I'm always burning my mouth. But I hate when my food is awful. Not like... Oh my god, I can't talk. But what I'm trying to say is I hate when my soupy stuff, especially, isn't hot, hot. Like, I love my soup super hot. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Look at this marrow right here. I got bone marrow. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. You guys already know. I got Thai chili in here. Um, we also put chili oil Ooh. great let me grab napkin all right but it was raining earlier so soup is so perfect for this weather I might get some seafood boil later or some Thai food but we'll see hmm Look how tender this meat is, you guys. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Alright, you guys, so we are eating wing stop. I got the tenders and lemon pepper fries, Louisiana rub and original hot. I got the blue cheese for the first time to try. I tried it a little bit in the first video, but I kind of like blue cheese. It goes good with the hot tender. Yeah. Those, those go good together. The Louisiana rub is like actually so good. I think that's my favorite dry rub. At least right now. I feel like my favorite changes. Oh, you guys, it is so hot. I feel like I never know how to dress for the weather. <laughs> Hold on one second. Okay, I had to just blast my AC for a quick second. But anyways, um, I guess I'll answer some questions that I always see under my comment sections that I get a lot. Maybe I'll do that.
the blue cheese is actually so good. Um, I get a lot of questions about how I eat like this all the time. And still stay in relatively good shape, even though I don't think I am, but, um, yeah. I've always struggled like, with, like, food and just my weight, to be honest. I, I can't remember a time where I didn't struggle with that. Now I kind of just eat intuitively. Um, I don't eat if I'm not hungry, and, like, usually on days like this when I eat out, I, it fills me up the rest of the day, so if I do end up eating later on, it's usually just, like, snacking. So, all about balance. <laughs> I haven't been as active as I usually am, but we've been going through it over here. <laughs> I just swallowed a fry, like kind of whole, and it was like the pointy part, and it kind of like scratched my throat going down. <laughs> the hot is good, but only for like one tender. I feel like I get sick of it really quick. I wish you could go to Wingstop and just pick each flavor you know because I get sick of the flavors really quick you know <laughs> I really want to try buffalo wild wings because I feel like I tried that once before and I don't even remember what it tastes like comment down below if you guys prefer wingstop or buffalo wild wings I feel like I never hear people talk about buffalo wild wings on here Each time I get Wingstop, I swear it gets better and better each time. Love that. 